closer to home with miles of trails and scenic views, the Dishman Hills Natural Area is a popular spot for hikers. It's also become popular with vandals. When one local hiker saw trash and graffiti cluttering the trails, she reached out to us. She's worried about how people are treating that beautiful area. Our Caroline Rourke headed out to see what she could find and has some tips on how you can help. I spoke to a county ranger on the phone this morning and he told me that this kind of vandalism or the trash piles that I saw along the trail today aren't new to the Dishman Hills natural area nor are they exclusive. This is a problem for other parks in this area but it is a good reminder as the weather warms up and the trails start to get busier that they need you to be their eyes and ears. We got a tip from a hiker that rocks in the Dishman Hills natural area had been tagged with spray paint and that garbage and remnants of illegal campsites were scattered just off the trails. And they were right. Walk in about five or ten minutes from the parking lot and you'll see this pile of trash just off the side of the trail. Plastic wrappers, tissue paper, and this can of red spray paint. Walk further into the woods and that paint reveals a trail of its own. The red tag standing out on rocks and signs. Ranger Bryant Robinson told me this morning that usually they'll see tags on signs or objects at the trailhead itself due to its easy access. And in some spots, they've started putting security cameras at those trailheads to prevent vandalism there. But this graffiti was well into the natural area. The hiker who reached out to us said she didn't want this to deter people from enjoying the natural area, and Ranger Robinson agrees. When vandalism is happening, he says it's even more important for trail goers to be out there, acting as eyes and ears, because the more they know about an incident, the better they can track it and work to start cleaning it up. If you're out and about enjoying your walk and you see something suspicious, Robinson says call Crime Check and report what you're seeing so he or a law enforcement officer can check on it. Caroline Rourke, KXOY4 News.